waiting to hear the halftime whistle then I'm in possession. It's on camera two, which I showed you earlier on. I'm basically looking up and that's it just now. Boom. So I'm clean, I've ironed my clothes for tonight, I'm almost good to go, uh, need to give Craig Coughlin, the producer, a quick call just to go through the running order, just to make sure we're both on the same wavelength, then I'll make any changes if there are any. Probably will be, usually there's a couple of changes. That's okay, programme's got to be as good as it can be, which is excellent. Uh, so right now, quick call to Craig, then I'll explain very briefly how I do my research for these games. Morning Craig. No bad, how are you pal? Just off the phone to Craig, I'm going to send him what I've done, then I'm going to put that into Gaelic, then I put it onto my tablet, I've got an online account, and I just transfer the documents over. And I take that with me because it's quite handy to have, it looks better having a smart tablet in your hand than a big messy notebook or a big pile of papers. Uh, I do take a hard copy though because I got caught out one time when my, when my tablet stopped working. I work off a running order when I'm doing my prep for these matches. The main prep begins in the immediate aftermath of uh, the respective team's last game. So Glasgow's last game was against Munster. One of the quotes that I picked up was um, that they didn't perform as a team. So that's a good question to ask Gregor pre-match. So you've not turned up as a team, how do you rectify that tonight? There, that, that, that's something you can pick up from research. Players as well, for example, Tommy Seymour's back in the side tonight. He scored a hat-trick of tries against Treviso in 2014. So if he's man of the match tonight, one of the questions to him could be, Tommy, you enjoy playing against Treviso. Another try for yourself, or another couple of tries for yourself tonight. Talk us through them. Boom, that's one of the questions. For someone like myself in this position, uh, presenting a show, I think the research is a large, large part of what I do. If I'm anchoring the show, I don't want to look like an idiot if I'm getting my stats wrong. My research tools, the Pro 12 website is fantastic. I check the BBC, sports websites, I read sports wrote articles online, Scotsman and the Herald are good to speak with Craig the producer. You know, it's, it's important to speak to folk, reach out if you're stuck or if you're needing help or advice. So that's basically how I do my research. So I've been rambling on, I'm going to make a couple of changes to this, send it to Craig and I will speak to you shortly. I'm sure there's a lot of athletes out there who believe in a good pre-match meal before a performance. Well this is mine tonight. I do believe you need something good and substantial in your tummy ahead of a, a potentially very cold night at Scottsdown. So I'm going to have this and then I'm going to get going. Production meeting done. So this is Craig Coughlin who I was speaking to on the phone earlier, he's the producer. What does a producer do at these games, Craig? He kind of makes sure that everything in the programme goes to plan. And that means dealing with someone like myself, yes? It does. <laughs> but that's not, that's not a difficult thing. <laughs> he's such a charmer. We're going to have a chat now about the content, what I'm going to be asking our uh, guests and uh, Gregor and Kieran pre-match. So that's my season pass for coming to Scotston uh, when I'm here working. I've got access to one, two, and three. One is players area, two is trackside, three is media. So uh, yeah, this is the ticket, eh? <laughs> you need this. You need that to get around without getting grief. So you also notice I'm wearing a bib. It's a Guinness Pro 12 bib, and it's got TV on the back. It's just so people can identify us as being with the television, just in case you can't see our passes. So you've got to comply with stadium and uh, stadium rules and regulations. So. All helps, all part of the process. This is the tunnel, this is where the players run out when it comes to showtime. So as the players run out, there's pyrotechnics going off, lots of noise, PA, really good atmosphere building. And then they run on to the pitch. So this is where our commentator is for the match, Ushti uh, Makalinen. Hugh Dan McLean, I'm sure a lot, of you, a lot of you know who he is. He's got a really good view up here. 
There's also two cameras here. That's the camera two, it's got a big long lens, that's used for close-ups. And then this is camera one, that's mainly used for picking up wide shots and stuff. But yeah, cracking view from up here and Scotston will soon be packed to the rafters for this evening's fixture. So that's enough for me just now. I better get myself in the zone for the pre-match interviews with Gregor Townsend from Glasgow Warriors and Kieran Crowley from uh, Treviso. Then we'll do a run through. Scott Hastings, our analyst, will be here. And here is Dom. Is Dom running away? Yeah, there's Dom. He's our sound guy. He's also a very sound guy. So good guy. So I'm now back at my position. Here. And this is where I will be pretty much until the end of the match. It's going to get cold. Should maybe have worn thermals, but I'll learn one day. Glasgow 7, Treviso 0. We're on air, we're live on BBC Alpert right now. Uh, rehearsals were okay. I wasn't very good for the first one, I have to honestly say. Got better. And obviously, when I go home tonight, I'll review all of this, make sure I can uh, improve, because I think that's what you've got to do in this job. You've got to analyse what you've done and look on ways to improve. Right now, Sammy and I are having a wee brew. It's very, very cold. I'm not wearing thermals. Are you wearing thermals? Nah, mate. Too hardcore. Sammy's from Edinburgh and he's hard as nails. They don't wear thermals in Edinburgh. So, it's coffee time, eyes on the game, and I will update you either at half time or at full time. In fact, I'll have time at half time. Half time at half time. Half time at half time. Half time at half time. <laughs> okay. Waiting to hear the half time whistle, then I'm in position. It's on camera two, which I showed you earlier on. I'm basically looking up. And that's it just now. Boom. So remember when I said Sammy was hard as nails, being from Edinburgh? Which was the blade? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, You're wait. only going to hurt yourself. Right. Thanks, though, I did that, mate. What we doing? Just... See, I don't actually understand how they work, like... You're putting them together? Apparently you just put, like, your hand in it. I think I've done it wrong, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to open it. It's Jacob. Oh. <laughs> so, what do the instructions say, Sammy? <laughs> do not open. <laughs> what did he do? He opened it. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is point two. Always read instructions. It takes 20 minutes. What's the point in opening it? Do not allow contents to come into contact with eyes and mouth. You need to wash your hands. <laughs> it's 31 7 to Glasgow, which snares re break and play. Let's get an update from Sammy in regards to his hand warmer situation. Roasting. That's it for me from Scotson for tonight. Hope you've enjoyed learning about what I do at a game, how I prepare for a game. It's very, very cold. I am going to wear thermals next time we do an evening match. Uh, the next step for me is to go home, uh, watch back my interviews, my chat with Scott Hastings, my chat with Scott Cummings. Uh, I look for ways to improve all the time, that's important. Uh, Gaelic for today is Aichiva. I nearly lost my voice there with the cold. <laughs> Let's try that again. Today's Gaelic is Aichiva, which means good night. Aichiva. Aichiva. So it's Aichiva from me.